So to blend the colors, we're going to start with the most difficult way to do it, which is with a brush that doesn't have anything of um, transfer, doesn't have any pen pressure. Basically, what you will have is you don't have a Wacom tablet. So we open the <coughs> the many of the brushes with F5 and we take any brush that is not soft in the edges. So we're going to uh, get rid of every option that the brush has. We just deactivate the options. So we have a brush that's painted this way. So I'm, to make the first example, we're going to use black square, kind of like a square uh, of black and another one white. And we're going to do the pass between the between the black and white. We want to do the gray scale, kind of the gray scale, just to explain. Um, so what we're going to do is just ma uh, manage ourselves with the numbers, with the opacity right here. We're going to start with 100%. We're going to change now. <clears throat> Using the numbers, I get to I press five and I get 50%. If I press tw uh, two, I have 20%. So do you know what I'm getting with this? Like every every number is a percentage. And so we're going to take any of the two. We're going to start maybe with the, um, let's see. We're going to use the eyedropper. With the eyedropper, the little eye, we're going to take the white and we're going to do this. So basically what we're going to be doing is taking the new color, or maybe let's take the black first and make that to the other side but because we are using 50% what we get is the blending of those colors like I'm painting on top of everything and I get the transition because I'm using a smaller percentage like a 50% so now what we want to do is stay with the eyedropper with the letter I but with the letter I switching to the B is going to be a, a mess so what you're going to do is using the B you're going to use the eyedropper with the key ALT with the ALT key on the keyboard so you can change quickly and when you stop using the ALT you want to get the brush again so basically what we have to do now is just taking all the colors like one by one and trying to make a, a pass that looks more soft and with that I mean let's do a smaller brush let me copy this first so we can see the difference and what we're going to do is just make a lot of passes a lot of uh, strokes with our hand really quick and taking the colors taking the colors painting taking the colors painting taking the colors painting that you have to repeat that like a lot you're going to get to a point when it's going to be automatic like your hand is going to do it um, like it's going to be so easy for you to remember what that what that key is and it's going to be kind of like you don't you're not going to even notice when that happens so that's the level that we have to tr to try to get by repetition you have to try this like every time you're painting you have to do it and you're going to notice that you're doing it faster or you're going to notice that you're doing it unconsciously so notice that already with few strokes it looks more soft even that it looks a mess if you see it for fun for distance it looks soft and what i really like about this kind of, of technique is that it looks more uh, raw it looks less perfect uh, i don't like when the when the i mean i do like when it looks perfect the digital painting but i i think it looks too digital so uh, what I'm trying to, to explain here is that I think it's better when it looks kind of like um, that you can see the strokes. It looks more artistic, kind of. So I really like that kind of result. So I think this technique is perfect for that. Of course, if you if you use this same technique using a softer brush, one with transfer and stuff like that, you maybe you could get a better, more softer result. But trust me, you have to. Do, you have to to do the hard part first now let's try it with some um, color maybe <clears throat> so 
so let's use uh, maybe we can use a red color and a yellow let's use a yellow a little bit more like a burn yellow no so bright and then we get some really really bright red so we're going to just take one of of each like let's take the red at 50 percent this is what i get <clears throat> now i take the yellow and pass all over that this is what i get then i drop her and i get the middle of those two the eye dropper in the middle of these two and how is how i'm saying you're going to get to a point where you're going to do this like without even noticing that you're doing it so this is the level that we have to try to achieve and it takes time but it's totally totally um easy once you get the feeling of it like once you get to do it more automatic you are actually learning at the same time exponentially so the most you use this technique your hand is going to be faster and faster when you paint so this is basically how i blend my colors and you can use this technique uh, and you can see in uh, any of my tutorials it looks um when i do the details sometimes i do it this way and it looks great um, from far from far away you can see that it, like it has a lot of detail it actually doesn't have too much detail this technique uh, makes it look that way and I'm here I'm using another brush just to show you that you can actually do the same thing just the opacity try to remember that the opacity is really important